Last time on the CO2 project, I put together this stand for the CO2 scrubbers. Now in this video, what I'm gonna do is add a few more components to that stand. Starting off, we're gonna put some wheels on the legs of the stand. This will just make it easier so I can actually roll it around, move it into position, especially while I'm building it. Now on the inside, what we're gonna do is put some insulation on the inside layer of the actual box. Now I've done that on all the sides and then I've put more of that sheeting up which will insulate the inside of the box. Now the reason I want to make sure to do that is so that during the hot weather season we don't get the heat coming in as much into where the sensors are and during the winter at night the cold air doesn't con make condensation on the inside and do any uh, issues with any of the sensors or the equipment inside there so it's built in a way to help either way now the bottom piece is reinforced with stronger wood and i've also put this lip around the outside which will help for the lid that will go on the front now the lid is just made of wood as well i've got a bit of a gap on the inside so i can put insulation in there and have a backing on it which once I've done that, I also put a bit of a handle so I can pull it forward from the front. And I've also got a bit of a lip around it so it all fits in nice and snug. And that way it'll stop uh, anything getting inside um, and create a bit of a seal as well. Then what I do is put a latch on the side so that way it kind of holds it in place. And I can just open and close it whenever I need to. Um, hopefully don't need to go inside there too often. Uh, once it's all set up and finished, but in case I need to it's always there So afterwards all I need to do is just paint the whole thing white um, This is just to make it look a bit better doesn't really matter too much and then once that's all painted up I screw the actual co2 scrubber Unit that I created into place where it's going to stay So that's how the majority of the unit will look uh, it rolls around nice and easily uh, on the concrete as well so once it's in place I'll lock the wheels down so they don't move so there'll be some more works on adding the wiring through and I'll do a few more things on the inside of this unit but overall it's easy to access everything uh, the sensors are in the top and uh, where the air is going to come out we've got that lid down the bottom we've got the hoses to drain the algae out if we need to or add in any water or whatever we need so what I'll do is have something go through to the bottom and that way I can run the wires and stuff and this little guy tried joining us while filming so so now that the majority of the construction side of this stand and the actual unit setup what we're going to work on next is the internal components inside of the actual box so this is where we'll have the air intake the power come in uh, the sensors and everything set up so make sure you like subscribe keep up to date with the co2 project thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time